Hi, this is Dave Murphy with Split. And in this video, we're going to do a quick overview of Split's capabilities, the architecture, and then take a look at the UI. But first, let's start with a bit of context. Split is a product decisions platform for engineering and product teams that want to rapidly and safely deliver valuable software to customers. Split provides a unified feature flags and experimentation solution that is built for teams of any size to make data-driven decisions. Feature flags form the basis of the platform, driving the risk out of continuous delivery and streamlining the development process. Flags allow you to assess application stability before customers are exposed to a feature, and a framework for agile teams to release faster with less risk, including a kill switch to shut down a feature within seconds. Functional and performance issues are mission critical concerns for any application. Key engineering metrics such as API response and uh, page load time can be impacted by each feature. Split correlates relevant engineering KPIs back to the feature changes that are impacting them, while granular user targeting supports robust phased rollout plans. So, you can release faster, but what does it matter if you're not releasing value? Experimentation provides development teams with a direct link to the customer for unprecedented feedback. Split's real-time analytics engine measures the impact of feature changes on business outcomes. As we move up the maturity curve, teams can quickly iterate and refine functionality to deliver innovation faster and increase time to value. Before we dive into the product, let's spend a moment looking at the architecture and data flow. The management console is where the user interacts with a Split platform. There's also an API that allows you to automate many of the actions a user might take. Behind the UI are the feature flagging functionality and analytics engine, which combine to capture and evaluate user impressions and correlate those to business value. In addition, the platform is built with security and high availability in mind, along with third-party integrations to better leverage split within your environment. Let's take a look at the data flow in a little more detail. Split provides implementation options to meet your requirements. By far the most common is to install the Split SDK in your application, whether using JavaScript, iOS, or Android on the front end, or any of the most common back-end platforms. When splits are created, the rollout plans are sent to the SDK, where they are cached and automatically kept up to date as changes are made. Because Split is a self-contained decisioning engine installed in your application, any data you use to target, even if personal data, is kept private and never sent to Split or anywhere outside of your environment. In addition, because evaluations are executed in memory, Split is lightning fast, eliminating the potential negative impact on the performance of your application. When the evaluation is made, whether or not to expose a feature to the user, the impressions are returned to Split along with the information necessary to track who's seen what. We can also correlate impression data with any events you track that occur in your application to, perhaps, understand how a feature impacts page load time, or if it's having the desired business impact. Before taking a quick tour of the application, let's review a few key terms. The environment dashboard, which is the central dashboard for navigating within the app application, is where we'll start when we look at the platform. There are three primary objects in the platform. Split, while the name of the company, is also the main object, encompassing the definition of the feature flag, the rollout plan, and where ongoing changes are managed. The second object is called a segment, which is a list of IDs used for targeting. For example, you might put a set of users into a beta list, and then you can easily target all the beta users by just using that segment. You can expand that list with additional segments, essentially testing in production. Entitlements are another common use of segments. Finally, metrics represent how you combine impressions from splits with events from your application allowing you to measure the efficacy and impact of features. Let's start in the environment dashboard, which is where we see the list of splits. In this case, we're in the staging environment, uh, and the environments generally follow your SDLC. So we can go, for example, to the production environment and see the splits that are available to us there. We can filter in by use, uh, traffic characteristics, characteristics of the split itself. We can look at the traffic type. Uh, which is something we'll cover in a future video, or tag to narrow down to look at the splits that we're interested in, in looking at. We can uh, go to the split 
themselves and see over here are available splits. Let's look at this school registration split. We can see that there's an on treatment and an off treatment. Presumably the on means that they can see the new feature and the off means they can't. There's nobody who's got the on treatment. There's no real targeting rules yet, which means this split is essentially going out dark. We can unpin this from the side if we want to give ourselves a little bit more room to work with developing our splits. Segments are a list of users. Uh, so for example, for our registration uh, uh, system that we were just looking at before as a split, we can say we only want that to be whitelisted to beta universities. So we've got our list of beta universities and we just have to whitelist this particular segment. Finally, metrics is the third object that we take a look at. Um, here we're looking at the increase in on a per user basis of the average ability for someone to complete onboarding. Essentially what we're doing is we're associating an impression that a user gets to an event, in this case completing onboarding, and determining whether or not we got the outcome that we were hoping for, the outcome we expected. We also have direct access to through the product documentation, the knowledge base, uh, release notes, and also our ticketing system if you want to contact us. Speaking of the knowledge base, you can get there by going to help.split.io where you'll find more information along with links there to the documentation and our community. Now that we've done an overview of Split's capabilities, architecture, and UI, you can find additional videos that cover creating and configuring Splits and using metrics to control rollouts, experiment with features, and make product decisions to safely deliver valuable software fast. Thanks.